take on a uh, very Fortnite-esque um, Battle Royale, although I will admit the top-down uh, twin-stick shooter element I think is really fascinating, and they certainly streamline some things that I like. So one of my biggest complaints about Fortnite is that there's a lot of stuff in it, and it's not necessarily a bad thing to have a lot of stuff, but it creates problems. Um, specifically when you're trying to figure out the game at the start, or if there's a lot of non-combat items that might prove useful. And this game's interesting because it really streamlines it. You can only carry two primary weapons, some kind of throwable weapon, and you always have a melee weapon. And then there's just a bunch of, like, additional items that take up slots in a separate inventory. Um, where am I going to go? I love this art style. It's so cute. So I am playing on the Nintendo Switch, and it is available for PC, Xbox One, and I want to say it's like the PS5, but maybe it's the PS4. So you can see already the Switch, it does drop frames a little bit. But other than that, so just like Fortnite, it has little special boxes. It definitely has items that are... Okay, so that's another human person. Uh, so it definitely has items that are... I don't say cribbed from Fortnite, but they <laughs> appear to have been taken directly from the previous season of Fortnite. So... Um, but the armor system is really straightforward, um, as is health. You essentially have a, uh, what they call it, health drink that you can fill up by finding items, killing other players, things like that. And then when your health is low, you just kind of empty that. Um, and then same thing with armor. So I have a level two armor right now, so it's as high as it can go. Um, with, so you see there's two blue pips. So if I had level 3 armor, it would go up to the maximum, which is level 3. But if it gets damaged, I have duct tape, so I can fix the armor through duct tape. And you carry extra duct tape, you don't need to take up one of your gun inventory slots. Obviously, with only 3, it's not quite the same as Fortnite, but it is similar. I kind of like that. Okay, so what is this gun? I don't know what this is. Oh, good. So, Sparrow... So this is a throwable weapon, it's essentially a stink bomb. Let's look at, I am inside of the storm. So for some reason my audio is desynced, so I'm going to fix that in post. Okay, I thought I saw something. Oh, level 2 armor, so this is a gravesite. So I don't know what engine this was made with, but this reminds me a lot of the Shadows in Among Us, so I'm going to assume it was made using Unity. But maybe not. We got the Hamster Ball, which uh, is makes you run faster. It's, a ve it's, I guess, a vehicle. Hard to control, and... Uh, also, um, can't shoot while I'm inside it. Oh my god. How pathetic. <laughs> Alright. I only found out about this game yesterday. And I will say that I really enjoy twin six shooters and I do like Fortnite, so I thought this would be an interesting combo. Oh, goodness gracious me. So 
this game is very punny. Um, I do think they overdo the word super, maybe a little bit, but they have some great signs like uh, lab to table, earporium, pie of the tiger. These are all great restaurant names, and I really hope they're real restaurants in real life, but chances are they're not. generally would say I'm worse at this game than I am at Fortnite, but that's only because I need to actually practice twin sticking. Ooh, catitude. Well, what's this? Oh, it's got like, it's got like a little scratching post. My character is technically a cat. And it's got little pumpkins out front. It's Halloween-ish. It's Halloween adjacent. Yeah, they got slow food uh, with their founder, this sloth. I don't know why it looks like Benihana, to be honest. And given the fact that it's a commercial kitchen, they have surprisingly little kitchen in here, so I don't know how else they would do it. Okay, so... I know nothing about the season rewards. I know nothing about where the characters are in game. I do know that somewhere around here is a character that I can interact with. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to this little tent village. So interesting thing about this is so it's completely 2D, but I think they do a good job of kind of simulating sort of the uh, decrease in height really well. Ooh, boots. I don't know what the boots do. I'm going to assume that boots are good. So I got arrow. So according to the in-game tips, uh, running with a melee weapon, you will run faster than with not a melee weapon. Which makes sense to me from the perspective of physics that makes a lot of sense okay so i'm gonna throw these bananas i guess what is this like a tommy gun what is this okay so i'm gonna get in this even though i died last time because i was in one of these oh emu i would like to ride the emu emo is superior to the ball in one respect, in that it can attack. I want the gun. There we go. Okay, so there's a pyramid over here. Um, oh, there's a person. And I learned that I am not good at this game yet, so I am going to try and avoid direct confrontation. Ooh, campfire. Uh, what I can only assume is, oh, it's a giant emu ranch. Interesting. So broken armor, ammunition. Um, oh, they have a vet. What's inside the vet? Uh oh. So over there is a person um, who's now gone, and I, I'm not keen on that. Okay. I hear, hmm, I'll have to resync my audio in a second, but, whoop, there we go, I'm gonna die. And I'm dead. Ah, it's worth trying. Well, I would call a doctor, but I'm not a fox, so that's not really acceptable. This is a very cute cat, though. This art style is gorgeous. And the only reason I know about this game is because of Nintendo's uh, news thing that opens up every time you open the Switch. Given the... Ooh, wow, that loaded quick. Okay. So, let's see. 
don't know what Thomas's workshop is, but I would like to go there. I will probably die. But that's alright. I'm gonna go... Ooh. Hmm. That person definitely knows I'm there. What do we got here? Some kind of magnum style weapon. I have no armor. Oh yes. <laughs> Oof. This makes me want to just go play Fortnite. At least then I'll feel like I've accomplished something. Okay. I have no idea how much personally identifiable information this game has acquired from me, but given that I have spent probably two hours of my life playing this game already, oof. <laughs> I've learned I'm a sucker. <sighs> Is it weird to play a game about animals killing each other sitting next to an animal? I don't know. Okay, I would like to not die this time. So I'm going to do the classic Fortnite strategy of just waiting until everyone else has jumped. I don't know what Smoma is, but I was by that building earlier. I feel like Smoma would be a town in Eastern Oregon. Like, oh no, somebody else had the same idea. All right, gotta kill him. The only way it's gonna work. I am out of ammo, and that is bad. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. Oh, yep, there he is. Well, let's not. Let's not and say we did. Oh. Come on, man. Please, I don't want to die. I just want to be cool. Okay, so that has ammo. History tells me that I should generally avoid shotguns in games. I'll eat this mushroom. Let's drink some of this delicious cola right out in the open. Okay. Oh crap! Don't kill me, I'm just a boy! Okay. Haha. -ha. Your armor is way better than mine. But I did do some damage. And he ran off, so he's probably healing. Okay, so reloading is important. Let's get a mid range weapon. Somebody died here. A whole, a whole human per. Well, I guess they're animals, they're genetically enhanced animals. So a whole genetically enhanced animal died there. Okay, so I've got level 2 battle armor. What is that? Is it, is it a dart gun? I don't have good enough aiming for that. I need automatic weapons. Oh, man. What is that game based on Neuromancer? I feel like it's that game all over again. Say based on Neuromancer as if Neuromancer did cyberpunk. 
There's like a twin stick roguelike that exists on the Switch. I say roguelike, and I don't know if that term is meaningful anymore. Death progression is involved in that game. This game, I guess technically every multiplayer game I play involves death progression. I just want to be cool and ride this floppy emu. I don't know what emu legs look like, but I don't think they look like that. Okay, just for reference, I added this in post. This is what an emu looks like, and this is what an emu leg looks like. As you can clearly see, emu legs are not big floppy Muppet legs. These are, in fact, uh, weird dinosaur legs, just so you all know. I know someone that had a pet emu, and I've asked them many questions about that pet emu. And the general answer I get is that the emu was very dumb and had was not aggressive, but did have a tendency to just kind of peck at things. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I'm going to die. Uh, here, have a banana. Is that good? Is that good? Do you, do you like bananas? Where'd that frog go? That frog's going to kill me. I'm going to hide over here and drink some delicious cola. So my spouse just showed me a picture of an emu, and I have to say the legs on said emu were not like the legs of that emu in this game. I just duct tape my armor back together. Uh, duct tape like any... Oh, I tripped on my own banana. Um, duct tape, like any substance, can become bulletproof if you have enough of it. But therein lies the problem, because you would need a lot of duct tape. It becomes impractical to have bulletproof duct tape armor. Okay, this, this fox guy needs to go. He's not my friend. And this other fox... Oh, is that a fox? I just think everything with pointy ears is a fox. Ooh, saw tickets? Okay. Uh, candy corn, which probably is a seasonal currency. Um, I don't know what Carl coins are, but I want them. Uh, I need that super squirrel DNA. Uh, super serum. Oh my god, there's so many things I can get for staying alive. I realize, like, virtually every game now that is multiplayer is copying Fortnite. Um, and to be fair, Fortnite itself copied like PUBG or something like that. Um, it's a good formula for multiplayer games that are not uh, RPGs. But it's like weird to see something that so so obviously is like trying to not I wouldn't say copy the interface, but like has a very very similar interface. You know, the first time I played any game with a battle pass was Smite. So I didn't realize the whole battle pass system was a thing. I should tell you how often I play multiplayer games. But um, the battle pass was really interesting to me. I was like, oh, it was a great idea. And I realize now I don't like battle passes. Um, because battle passes uh, require me to play the same game constantly. And I don't really want to always do that. There are a few games that I can play constantly. Um, wow, that guy's going to kill me if I stay there. So it's... There are a few games I play enough to actually want a battle pass. So the last battle pass I actually purchased was Pokemon Unite. And um, I don't know. I don't think it was money well spent in the sense that I... It's not that I don't enjoy Pokemon Unite, but I realize like, I don't enjoy having to continuously play a game in order to get stuff that I paid for. Oh, crap. Yeah, we'll avoid him. That's fine. Okay, reload. I don't know what these mushrooms do, but I'm going to eat them. Pro tip. Do not eat mushrooms that you encounter just in the woods. Oh. 
You killed me. <sighs> How lame. Yeah, okay. Do I no, I don't want to spy. I would like I would like to leave this game. They really should have an auto queue. I'm sure there probably is an auto queue and I'm just like completely unaware of it. Goodness gracious me. Goodness gracious me. That was a weird visual artifact. I hope that doesn't show up in the capture. Because uh, at one point it looked like I had two and it keeps doing it. I'm going to assume that's uh, just an artifact on the Switch. <laughs> Not something that the developers actually intended whenever I do this little hop. And if you're wondering why I'm hopping all the time, the answer is the game says that if I hop in, in rhythm, I move faster. And that is true. I haven't, like, scientifically measured it or anything, but it's pretty obvious to me. Oh, this, this guy, Luigi Fan 2016, is following me. Okay. Something that's uh, really shocking that uh, anybody watching this who's over the age of like 30 will probably get this, but like when I play video games now, something that really shocks me, particularly because I play a lot of games that are bright and colorful and that children like, um, <laughs> sometimes I see names, this is like 2016, or, you know, 2022 or whatever, and I'm like, is that when the kid was, is that when the player was born? Is that their birth date? Does that mean I'm playing with a five-year-old? And the shocking thing is, especially if you play Pokemon games, is that might actually be true. And it weirds me out every time when I see people who are old enough to appreciate Pokemon who were born in what I consider to be uh, like three weeks ago. I remember when I used to play the Pokemon uh, trading card game when it first came out in 1996. And I played the trading card game before COVID um, at a game store. And I was the only adult there. And at the time, you know, I'm in my 30s. And it, it was weird because um, almost every person there was uh, between the ages of like 6 and 10. And this kid, I remember very distinctly, <laughs> he found out that I had played Pokemon when it first came out. And he had the audacity to ask me, like, point blank. He's like, why did you throw away the cards? They were so valuable. And um, I said, they weren't valuable in 1996. In 1996, everyone had those cards. It was, and we didn't really, you know what I mean? Like, when you, you know, think about it. And granted, this kid is playing Pokemon at a level that I'd never played at in... Uh, 2016 because of my uh, parents were suspicious of the entire planet so I wouldn't would not have been allowed to go off alone by myself and play games with a 30 something year old man but um, I it was very very weird to have this kid berate me for throwing away something when I was uh, younger than he was <laughs> back in the 90s <laughs> Ugh. Also, it's also weird, like, playing something at a young age and then playing the continuation of the franchise, you know, decades later as an adult and kind of realizing that they ran out of ideas, like, maybe a decade ago. And now they're just, like, just pumping just wild stuff out that would have I would have been super into at like age 12 that as an adult i'm like ooh, this is just power creep like this isn't gonna work like you're gonna have to fix this this card is gonna get banned once the format moves on <laughs> yeah thank goodness for uh-oh that's a duck there's one thing i don't like it's ducks 
That is, of course, a lie. I actually really like ducks, but they scary. Okay, I'll take a blue weapon. The thing that makes me believe that they were cloning... Oh! Cozy, uh... That's a cool character. I don't I don't know any language other than duck newspaper. Well I got a duck newspaper. I should read that. Oh my god, they have raccoons in this game? Well now I have to look. Let's see what they got. <gasps> okay, I would like to equip the duck newspaper. Yeah, oh it's a melee weapon. Okay. That's fine. What do I need? I, I would like to equip a super songbird magnet. How do I? Okay, use magnet. Yes, yeah, so now for the next three matches, I think I will get increased songbird DNA, which I will need if I ever want to be cool. Ugh. This game is so cute. So cute. I would like to win. I don't think I've ever gotten higher than fifth, and definitely not in this video. Oh, no, that's not what I need. No, no. Yeah, there we go. Something else that really, uh, ooh, almost in sync. So something else that also really, really, really smacks of Fortnite is the uh, the control scheme. And granted, the Switch is only able to do so many things. Ooh, what's this? Super grand opening explore today. Okay. Oh my god, that is the cutest red panda I've ever seen, and I really like red pandas. No, it's okay, Luna. You don't have to be jealous of red panda. Okay. Look over here. What we got? We got... Uh, that's a little... That's a little bit furry right there. Uh, digital painting. Are this... Is this fan art of the game? Or... My problem is I'll play games that I'm sure, like every game, you know, there's like people who put their time and effort into it or who are really like focused on it. Here I am just judging it. Okay, we... Whoop! Wow, this is gonna get me killed. I'm gonna die. And that's okay. Look at that. <laughs> just instantly die. Oh my god, Luna. People need to be warm. You need to be warm. It's okay. I grew up with a dog that um, needed to be tucked in. When I say needed to be tucked in, he would whine and complain if you didn't put a blanket over him when he was going to bed. I have a dog that wants to cuddle but doesn't understand the concept of blankets. So instead, she'll just try and cuddle closer and closer to you as she's cold and has no regard for personal space or um, how ineffective said cuddling is if it's really cold out. Isn't that right, Luna? Just, just, just gonna take a nap, okay. Say what? What did you say to me, my spouse? You know, Luna, you can't expect every human person to be your pillow at any given time. There, make a pillow out of that blanket. Yeah, there you go. Okay. This is my problem, right? I love the art style of this game. I think there's a lot of potential with a twin stick shooter battle royale i may have to not play this on the switch because the frame rate drops from particle effects are just 
ridiculous. So you can see, like, my frame rate's probably about 30 right now. Might be less. And I apologize for people watching this video. It's not because my computer cannot encode it. That's not it. It's it's because the switch can't handle it. And just because a game has 2D graphics does not mean it doesn't require things. So I don't know all the limitations and stuff like that. But from what I understand, if a game has you know polygonal 3D graphics, yeah, that requires a lot of processing power and stuff like that but you can easily create something that doesn't look visually complex to do that is either inefficiently programmed or utilizes things in such a way that it kind of overdoes it so good oh there's a lot of dead bodies over here i think i'll exit my very poorly controlled ball and go this way okay I do not want to break those. I learned my lesson earlier. Let's see, we've got a super bandolier. We got, ooh, some kind of blue thing. It's an arrow. I got lots of arrows. I had arrows earlier, but. Pers ooh, okay, there's people, and a, there's a person. Bang. Did I hit him? Of course not. Yeah, I'm not going to get him. Okay, you guys can fight each other. That's fine with me. I'll just go over here, thanks. Okay, whoop. Okay, so I think the advantage of this type of weapon is almost certainly the... Uh, it does not seem to need to reload. There's some nanners. Oh, okay. Ow. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Hee-hee-hee-hee. You'll never catch me, you songbird. Ah. He's going to catch me. So they say if you time this right, you'll kind of continuously go. I'm not going to worry about that. Instead, I'm going to drink. Oh, no. I'm not going to drink my super potion because I'm going to die instead. A new couch killed me. Well, that would make sense. Okay. Well, I want to see if I can get that songbird. <sighs> this is my problem, right? I enjoy the Switch. It gets an excellent console. It's probably the epitome of what I want in a console. It's playable at work. Uh, I don't play on the clock. That would be a, a disservice to my employer. But um, I would say one of the nice things about the Switch, you can take it commuting. They're, like, cheap enough that they're not really worth stealing out of your hands, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Like, most phones are more expensive than a Switch. But, um, you know, it can do a lot of stuff, has a lot of different games. Um, but one of the problems, I think, with the Switch, and this is just kind of showing its age, like, it came out in 2017, 2021 when I'm recording this, like, technology has moved on quite a bit. And I think it's really telling that, um, like, a lot of companies now, like Valve, is basically making a Switch, but for Steam, you know, the the idea of kind of a, a handheld device that plays games but is more or less, you know, can switch between being on a uh, monitor or television... I would like to shoot that guy, but he's long gone. And he probably is laughing at me for being so incapable. It also is very telling that I assume he, when in fact that person could be of any gender. Okay, let's reload. Uh. Let's see here. Woo, 
Ooh, so many blue things. That's level two armor, which I already have. So let's get a blue pistol. I feel like I need to practice shooting in this game, and I need to practice shooting with low frame rates. It's like you can see my aim, uh, as they say, uh, no está muy bien. Um, and that's partly because I took like a 10 year break from playing video games. And then before that, I was like pretty much exclusively a PC player. So my ability to use the controller is improving. And when it comes to aiming, it's subpar. To rely on my wits and my ability to fling myself backwards in this weird way. So, this lights. So if I... Uh-oh. That's a human person. And he's dead. Finally, I killed something. <laughs> Alright. First off, let's drink some delicious... Uh, I'm going to just say it's a big gulp. I don't know what it actually is supposed to be. I got that. Uh, I've got some armor repair tech, so I'm going to do that. There we go. At least I have some armor. Actually, you know what? Okay. Strategically, I did have level 2 armor back there. It's a ways back. Um, but I would have been smart to actually, like, you know, go back and get that. Oh my god, I have no idea how to use a sniper rifle in this game. What does this do? Okay. I'm sure there is some meaning to the rangefinder. Okay, everything's bullets these days. Can I have double? I would like to create dual pistols. There we go. Yeah! Oh my god, he killed me. I mean, that's a cool... Yeah... That's a cool, that's a cool outfit. Ugh. I will use the term he a lot when referring to other players, but I recognize that people of any of any gender can be playing a video game. When I say any gender, I, d I do mean any. There's no need to limit. There's no need to limit to just two. I don't think a newspaper should be able to cut stuff like that. Am I a subpar player? Yes. Am I going to play Fortnite later where I am? Less of a subpar player, also, yes. I love this cute music. It's really cute. Um, this game has a really cute aesthetic. I don't know if I will play this game more than I would play the game that it's clearly based on. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Let's just go all the way, 100%. Like they say in the uh, Angel Spit song, 100%. Ooh, I slide. Yeah, they don't, they don't. The gun sound effects are so good in this game. Uh, oh crap, reload, 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 come on. There we go. Can I have your stuff? Thanks. Ah, oh, God, Peter on, I, that said something, I, I would have thought it said something else. Peter on killed me. Or P. Dorian? I don't know. That's super cat DNA and I'm gonna leave now. I would like to, did I have enough for a songbird? Research lab is up. Yeah, I'm gonna make a super songbird. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's a premium currency right there. I'm gonna use some of that. 
Yeah, oh my god, it's so cute. Look at that guy, he's got a little angry eyebrows. I'm going to equip Super Songbird. Alright, let's go home. Look at him! Oh man, he's just going to, he's going to peck his enemies. I remember what it was like. It's it's so easy. So what's what's up, pup? How did how it was secret lab lab? Finding the lab lab is a test. It's let's find out. Uh, find me in a very sandy land. I wonder if it's the sand place. I want to see these. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got uh, Blue Jay Z. We got Pete, we got Kelly Larkson. Um, I, they got, I'm gonna say that's supposed to be Doge uh, and what looks like a BLM fist, but I don't know. Uh, we got uh, Lady Kaka, we got uh, Howell Michaels, uh, Joe Cluck. Uh, I can't read that because my vision isn't any good. Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't make sense of that one either, but I guess, starting in 28 seconds, ugh, I'm going to cross-play enabled and I'm going to take it forever. Okay, I'm going to try this again. Jack or sure. Let's go. You know what? So the Super Sahara Land. I wonder if that has sand in it, because the Sahara is the largest sand desert in the world. It's so large, I think the entire United States could fit into it. And also, people live there for thousands of years. Although I, it's harder now <laughs> with climate change. Well, let's see. Ooh, I want to go in one of these houses. Let's go in. Uh, that was a bad house to go into. Okay. We got 40 health juice. Oh, these little things. Let's do a little super armor level 2. Super armor level 1. Super armor level 2. I need a gun. So I'm going to go to the pyramid. It's too late. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, I want those little booties. Give me those booties. Where? Yeah, I got 19 seconds before the map starts shrinking, so I'm probably not going to find this secret lab. This game is much faster paced than Fortnite, which actually, if I have one complaint about Fortnite, it's that it is not fast paced. Do, 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 do. I probably shouldn't just compare a game to Fortnite, but something like this. It's really obviously based on Fortnite. Like, Battle Royale is admittedly not a new genre. It was not invented by Epic Games, but Epic Games has essentially turned it into one of the most popular franchises in the world. Give me grenades, granados. I would like the blue. I like the it. Ooh, a green gun. Green good. SMG. I actually kind of like how this game does damage scaling. So like the SME SMG just is better close up. Wait, hold on. I need some. No. Oh, that increases the size of my cup. Okay. Oh, that's gonna kill me. Crushed. 
Oh, God. Well, that was exciting. Okay. <laughs> Oof, let's try one more. One more. Yeah, and this is not like... <laughs> like, I've watched a lot of people play a lot of games. I'll put it that way. And I say, I have not practiced. <laughs> it's a skill that you practice that I am not practicing. Ugh, like, this is such a good idea. I feel like I'm doing it a disservice by, like, not thoroughly researching all the mechanics. Like, I love that little zebra guy. Oh, it's, it's, it's like a little green boy! And you got a sheep. And you got a duck. And you got a panda. It's like, it's just so cute! Let's try to resync my audio here. I don't think it's gonna let me. Alright. Oh, okay, guys, saw research a super animal super stage. That sounds like fun. I'm gonna go there. All right, I would like to go to the super animal super stage. No, I'm not crazy. I'm sure somebody has thought of this. Uh, just go to the shooting gallery and see if there's any guns lying around, which there most certainly are. Cause that's how guns work. Oh, he was not ready for that. Haha. <laughs> Get out of here, you crazy, you crazy dude. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, I, I killed a hot lady, which, um, just a guess, but I'm gonna just make the assumption that the person who named themselves Hot Lady may not, in fact, be all that their username describes. Hey, Mr. Emu, can I, can I ride you? I don't really want to walk in there, lazy. Hello, drop frames. Little bandolier, got my body armor. Oh, the delivery mole has arrived. Excellent. I would like to talk to him. Yes. Uh, can, can I has? Uh, I only have so much ammo. Where? I don't know the mechanics of this game, so. Do I need to talk to him? Like, what do I gotta do here? Oh, there we go. Yes. I will take that box. Thank you. Uh, give me that candy gun, um, and then I don't need that AK anymore. Maybe this game is based on the song Candy Gun by Banana Melt, which would make sense to me. That guy was AFK. Sorry, Alex. That guy's gonna rue the day that he walked over here nonchalantly. Uh-oh. 
Oh wow, there sure are a lot of people. Is there is there like something going on over here? Is it is it because of the uh Okay, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's see. Reload that. Reload that. Oh yeah, I don't wanna be here. Too much of my other problems. Alright, oh, oh hey. Hey buddy. Slow down there. I don't, I don't, uh, fly through, oh, there we go. That's it, I'm dead now. Well, they got me. What can I say? Well, that's, uh, that's, that, that's Super Animal Royale, a game that I am not prepared to spend a lot of time playing. All right. Okay, so instead of uh, just ending it there, I am actually going to upload a second video where I'm going to play a somewhat different game. So go ahead and check that out if you get a chance. All right. Goodbye.